Welcome to our demo of Managing Secure Multi-Tenancy with NewScale's Self-Service IT Storefront. The traditional approach to guaranteeing application isolation requires dedicated isolated hardware, but this proves to be an expensive, hard-to-manage proposition when applying this to a cloud infrastructure that demands strict isolation between different clients, business units, etc. Secure multi-tenancy enables you to partition a shared infrastructure in whatever way makes sense for your business. Data and data access are securely isolated, and workload performance is maintained. Cloud architectures need visibility control and management. That's why NewScale's cloud operating model is perfect for the secure multi-tenancy initiative. NewScale's easy-to-use self-service portal ensures consistent presentation and contrast compare of services offered, and its role-based access controls make sure tenant boundaries are secure. NewScale's workflow engine orchestrates seamless integration to the Cisco, VMware, and NetApp layers directly or via other RBA tools, and the embedded approval functionality ensures compliance to IT policy. NewScale Lifecycle Center makes sure that these layers are provisioned appropriately and managed throughout their life cycles by individual tenant or for all tenants. Ultimately, NewScale's cloud operating model helps to reduce operational costs and business risks, such as VM sprawl, reduces provisioning cycle time, and provides control but flexible speed and agility commensurate with the value of the secure multi-tenancy architecture. So let's take a look at how some of this works. The cloud administrator configures the secured multi-tenancy based cloud catalog following the standards and templates available out of box from NewScale. Here, we're logged in as Steve, the cloud administrator. His job is to use these templates to set up tenant cloud environments. They all start with standards. Standards enforce consistent policy-driven behavior. Here, we have some pre-built standards based on the secure multi-tenancy architecture. Now, it's also important to note that NewScale offers a graphical workflow designer that can easily show how templates can be administered and how approval and delivery tasks can be performed. Service templates are categorized by groups, and tenant separation is controlled by NewScale role-based access controls. When Steve, the cloud admin, defines storage services, he first goes to a simple service design tool and creates a request block storage service. He associates this service to a storage resource and provides service level options from which to choose. Steve also configures the compute service called Request Computing Capacity in the Service Design tool, assigns a compute resource, and shows available options which will be used by the tenants to order their compute selections. Network selections are just as easy to set up by the cloud admin. This one, Request Network Capacity, is assigned a network resource and options are set up for the tenant users to choose. Lastly, Steve defines available options for user access. Now that we have the secure multi-tenancy layers designed, Steve the Cloud Admin can publish the deployment templates to the tenant service catalog. We are now logged in as Carol, an applications development manager and typical user. At this point, we can easily see there are no services published to her Acme tenant catalog. So now Steve will grab his defined services and publish it to the Acme Tenant Catalog by giving permissions to the Acme organization. Now, when Carol logs back in, the services show up for her and other tenant users to see. Now that users are ordering app hosting solutions, how can Janice, the tenant admin, verify that provisioning has happened and how can she keep an eye on it moving forward? She does so through the concept of new scale service items, a way to be able to track the life cycles if any service is delivered against a request. Here we see those service layers represented as individual service items in Janice's view. She can click from line to line and see individual service item detail for everything inside her specific tenant. Here she sees the storage service which was provisioned seamlessly through NetApp Storage Services Automation. And here she sees the virtual machines that were provisioned through the NetApp Virtual Storage Console Automation for VMware vSphere. 
Over here, she sees the network services provisioned through Cisco Data Center Network Manager and Nexus Automation. And lastly, she can see the user access configuration provisioned through vSphere vShield and Cisco Service Automation. And while Janice can see all the service items for her specific tenant, Steve, the cloud administrator, can see all service items for all tenants by clicking on Manage Service Items. Here, he has a view of all the individual layers for all of the organizational units, aka tenants, in his organization. We see a tenant for ACE as well as the tenant named ACME that Carol ordered a service for earlier. Steve can also group the resources by secure multi-tenancy layer. New Scale's self-service request management and policy-driven configuration supports the high availability that the secure multi-tenant architecture brings to the table. And it also ensures separation across tenants with its role-based access controls and separate organizational design tools. You can be sure that service levels are consistent by policy standards that link all layers across all tenants. And NewScale's end-to-end orchestration and service item management allows you to have complete visibility and control. Ask your NetApp or NewScale representative for more information on how NewScale makes the secure multi-tenancy initiative thrive.